a source close to, to James has said that Trump would be called to testify closer to the end, which makes sense. Do you think, I'm going to start with you, Cy, he will testify? And you've been a prosecutor. What, what would you ask him? Well, he's already taken the Fifth Amendment privilege in connection with earlier depositions in the case. So I think that gives you an, if, an indication of what he has thought up to now. Uh, I think he's also perfectly capable of saying he's going to do one thing and then deciding he's not. We've seen that a few times. And blaming, yes. you know, the prosecutor and the judge as being biased, therefore forcing him again to take the Fifth Amendment. Uh, I, I, I'd like to hear what Preet says, but there's part of him that I'm sure wants to see if he can tell his story and bluster his way through. Uh, but I think there's another part, because he's, he's a smart man, that realizes that uh, he's not the Wizard of Oz. You know, he, he can't value property at mm. uh, 500 times its value and have that be objectively reasonable uh, in terms of the judge's analysis. So it would not surprise me if he says, I'm here, I'm going to testify, but he takes the fifth at the end of the trial whenever he's called. Preet, you, you heard your friend Cy Vance here. We, we want to know what yeah. you think. Uh, do you think no, he, I, he says I, he's I, eager to testify? What do you think is going to happen? He's not eager to testify. He's never eager to testify. He says he is. He did this multiple times during the Mueller investigation. He's in, uh, during um, other matters and unfolding investigations as well. He's actually afraid of testifying. He knows what will happen to him in a court of law where he can't filibuster. It's not a bank of cameras uh, and microphones outside a courthouse where he's dominant or a rally of his uh, in front of, you know, a, a bunch of supporters. Court of law is different. The other consequence, by the way, you know, two other quick things. One, his problem is not that he exaggerates a little, right? The problem is that he lies and exaggerates by a lot. Even the judge in this case, in the uh, summary judgment opinion, says, look, um, there's some concession that valuation of, of properties and assets is not necessarily a science. And you can be off by 20 percent, 30 percent, but not, as, as I said, by 500 times or 500 percent. Mm -hmm. um, he does that all the time. He does it in other parts of his life, too. The other consequence, by the way, for him not testifying, I don't think he will testify, is that I, I predict and expect that when the judge rules adversely to Trump, one of the bases on which he will do that is say, um, in a civil case, unlike a criminal case, he can draw an adverse inference against the party, against the defendant, Donald Trump, in this case, because of his refusal to testify based on the Fifth Amendment. So it, it gives the judge an added ability um, and, and uh, you know, appropriateness to find against Donald Trump if he does not testify. So in this sense, Donald Trump is damned if he does, damned if he doesn't. Cy Vance Preparara, please stay right where you are. I have many more questions. We have to sneak in a very quick break.